Yeah. All right, go. albums that went platinum. He was interviewed for magazines. He even won awards. And every day, he met new people. And always created the headlines everywhere he went. everything he hoped it would be, but deep down, something tugged at the bear's heart. He had fame, awards, and all the music in the world, but he missed home. He missed his friends. So the bear decided to go back. He speedily crossed the river and excitedly pounded into the forest. He couldn't wait to tell his friends all about his time in the city. But when the bear reached the familiar clearing, it was empty. No piano, no bears, no anything. The bear started to worry that his friends had forgotten him or that they even were angry that he left them behind. Then a friend stepped into the clearing. Hello, cried the bear. I'm back, I missed you so much. Without saying a word, the gray bear 
ran back into the trees. Wait, called the bear. I'm sorry, I left, please stop. But his friend kept running. The bear stumbled after him, moving deeper and deeper into the forest. And until he saw something that made his fur stand on end. For the bear had not been forgotten, but his friends were not angry, but proud. The bear realized that no matter where he went or what he did, they would always be there, watching from afar. They even have kept the piano safe in the shade, ready for his return. So after the bear told his friends all about his life in the city and the many concerts he had played, he sat down to play once more. This time for the most important audience of all. Halo as the bear. Okay, bye. We're